Hello, my name is Dr. Farzana Hafizullah, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Dr. H. Join me and my special guests as we make incredibly tasty dishes from across the Caribbean with a healthy twist. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Dr. H. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizula. I'm chair of the Department of Internal Medicine at Nova Southeast University's Dr. Kiran Zee Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine. And this is our Caribbean Health Cooking Show. We are so excited to be exclusively sponsored by Aetna. This is episode five of season two. So please, if you are online with us, send us some love. Make sure that we know that you're watching and we wanna hear your questions. We wanna get your feedback. We wanna feel your energy here in the kitchen. Well, today is an extra special day as you know, most of these shows were virtual cooking shows. Today, I'm very excited to have our expert featured guest today in-house with me in my kitchen. I'm so excited. So I'm going to introduce her in a minute before we're going to talk about what we're celebrating today. We are celebrating Haitian Heritage Month. May is Haitian Heritage Month, and we know that there's a Mother's Day coming up in Haiti later on this month, and yesterday was Flag Day. So our dishes today honor our Haitian brothers and sisters and our Haitian family and friends. And we're also celebrating May as Osteoporosis Awareness Month. Go on nsucaribbeanhealth.com, check out all of our recipes, and let's first introduce my special guest, and then I'm going to tell you what we're cooking together in the kitchen. Are we ready? All right. Nikki Mohan, everybody. We have Hello. the amazing Nikki Mohan. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. here. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. My fellow Caribbean Trini woman. That's over right. Here. South, South Caribbean folks. Let's yes, represent. We are always representing. <laughs> and let me tell you, today we're not only going to have a little fun conversation, we're taking some incredible Haitian dishes. Yep. We're making a couple of small changes just to increase the health factor, but never compromising on the cultural element, right? Yep. Or the taste. Or the taste. Because taste is important. Very important. And you know we're a spicy woman. We're yes. a spicy Caribbean woman. Yes. Spicy people. Of pickles? course I You know, I homemade that. Please. I home. I have a jar just for you. Really? For you to go oh, home I'll with. take it. I'll well, take hey, it. that's the way we're going to roll. But before we do anything, we talk about the dishes. We, of course, want to toast to having Nikki here. Aww. I made a ginger infused sorrel remember we were talking on that's the phone? amazing yes right yes i mean sorrel we grew up with is that's usually right. a christmas thing but it can happen anytime for you christmas to have sorrel. every day christmas in july christmas in april christmas in may we'll do it all well before we toast to you nikki tell us what you're doing now actually oh you know i left on um, traditional news yeah. two years ago mm -hmm. and i pivoted doing going into production just dabbling in a bunch of other stuff i was yeah. ready to make a change and um now i'm actually um, a vice president in tourism here in Broward County at oh Visit Waterdale. Gosh. And I celebrate the multiculturalism of Broward County. And I also do a lot of community engagement, which just falls right in line with. Fantastic. Because, you know, I mean, life's too short. And I wanted to spend more time doing the good stories that were representative of us. Exactly. Unless of that other stuff, we tend to cover the <laughs> news. That's so right. I'm really happy to be here. And I'm really happy to be part of this conversation because we can enjoy good food and take care of our health. Absolutely. You know, a lot of our food was is born out of the same things that, you know, you see here in America, born out of what was available to us in, in traditional colonial times or post-slavery. But we all know better, so we should exactly. do better. Exactly. We can still enjoy food and be healthy. Diabetes, heart disease, cholesterol, cancer is rampant in the Caribbean. Yeah. And we'd be fools not to relate our diet to that. That's exactly right. And we, we like to look nice, hey. so this all fits into looking nice, too. If we're looking nice, we're living healthy, we're enjoying every second of it Yoga. together, right? Absolutely. So I'm going to tell you how we made this. Mm. Well, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I want to make sure and you, you do like it. And you picked the sorrel in your backyard? Of course, man. <laughs> yeah, right. No. <laughs> you know, I'm going to show you the ingredients that we use to make the sorrel. We have some dried, actually, Jamaican sorrel, or hibiscus, basically, right? Dried hibiscus. We have ginger. Now, this was ginger infused. What I ended up doing is not only grate the ginger into the water, but put some chunks of ginger in there. Too. And ginger has so many anti-inflammatories. It does. Categories. And it's great yeah. for digestion. It good. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely does. And then whole cinnamon sticks. Put some whole cinnamon sticks in there, as many as you'd like to enjoy. Some people like to put some cloves in there. This time, I kind of refrain from the cloves because I use so much ginger. And some orange peel. Just take some oranges that you have. Just take them in there. 
And instead of sweetening this with sugar, I actually chopped up some dates. Really? This is dates. I wouldn't have guessed it. Imagine that, right? So wait, so you didn't miss the sugar. See? No, we I didn't really. We use fresh, fresh dates. And the dates, you can put as many as you'd like in there. Just you, Or you can use date sugar. Just wow. dried dates. Why is this date sugar just goes, be goes better in the blood, sugar, blood yes, system? Yes, you don't raise your insulin levels as ah. high. And it actually does not cause you to put the fat on right here on the belly and allows you to have better control of your blood sugars. Nice. So yeah, nice low glycemic index. So while we enjoy this, we're going to make the Shatai de Moru. But let's tell everybody about what we're making and what the other ingredients are included in this dishes. So the Shatai de Maru, you made this before on camera, I know, didn't I've you? Eaten this. Oh, you've I've eaten, eaten this it. as part okay. of the Caribbean cookout <laughs> show. I am the most uh, food savvy non cook, non chef. Mm. But the Shatai de Maru is a traditional Haitian dish. Yes. And it's with codfish, saltfish, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and it is amazing. And you just have it on uh, some crusty That's right. baguettes. And it's yes. really good. And, and, you know, it's really important that we celebrate all the different Caribbean I cultures. Agree. You know, there are uh, 500,000 um, Haitian, mm -hmm. Haitian mm -hmm. Americans in the state yes. of Florida. Yes. A lot of them Largest. concentrated here in Broward County. That's right. And um, and and they bring so much flavor to our culture Without and a to doubt. our community. That's so, right. You know, and what are we all what are we all able to relate to? Music food, and food. Food and music. <laughs> exactly. Well, you just saw up on the screen what we're making today, right? The Chatai de Moru is shredded codfish. It's Creole for shredded cod. And we've got all of our ingredients, and Nikki is going to help me put this together. All right. And we just talked about the ginger infused sorrel. I'm going to put our sorrel back here. Yeah, we'll have a that little later. space. Exactly. Now, we are, this Nikki, you're going to be right here with the okay. bowl. Oh, so, what I did was this dish usually, you're going to keep that bowl right there. And what we usually do is salted cod, but you boil out the salt and it takes too long and it's too much salt. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. But you know what? Sometimes you know, I know you think about the cod. Is, yeah. is, it's historically linked to that's what the British brought to the Caribbean. Mm. And they salted it so it would mm -hmm. last in the voyages yeah. when they were discovering that's all right. these islands. <laughs> right. But now, and we adopted it. <laughs> we did. Really, we yeah. did. But you know, um, it's, but it's such a part of every culture. Yeah, it is, every island it is. has a different version. The bacalao, of this. you've got your That's codfish right. fritters and all you that. You got your boljol. The boljol and saltfish. But we today, what I ended up doing is to use fresh cod. Use a lot of herbs and seasonings first. Like I actually used Mrs. Dash in here. Oh, nice. A little bit of thyme and some Scotch bonnet peppers, and just seared it and then steamed it. And now you're going to just take some of this and pop it straight into all that right. bowl without the juice. And as Nikki is taking care of that piece. You made piece, this before? Yes, I did. Okay. So this actually gives the flavor without the salt. The salt factor, if you, don't, if you have high blood pressure, if you'll have congestive heart failure or anything else that puts too much fluid into your body, you really want to watch the salt levels. So this is a great way to use the flavor of cod without that heaviness of the salt that causes so many issues. Right? So as Nikki is doing that, I'm going to chop up a couple of scallions here. Okay. Is this enough? You know what? Put as much as you'd like in there. Okay. I think we've got to feed the crew, so come on. Just <laughs> yeah. Empty the whole thing. Yeah, right. Like, right? <laughs> why, am I, why am I wasting my time with yeah, this man. But we have, I did chop up some of the scallions ahead of time, but just for the camera here, we're going to show everybody how to do a nice, easy chop. It's good to have your fresh ingredients. And you like a bigger chop? Does it matter? Um, I always find that when you do it finely, it's... Yes. You know. A little bit more flavor. Yeah. So you kinda, can do that. But you, it's just kind of hidden in there because some people don't want green stuff. Well, Nikki coming in, but did you see, see it. they don't. Did you see the herb garden that we have in the front? Yes. So that was planted by my daughter who you met, Anissa. Oh, the other budding <laughs> daughter. The other budding. Oh, you know what? She's going to redefine things, let me tell you. That's awesome. We, we are I the, mean, I think that kids growing up now have a mm -hmm. much different appreciation. Yes. Because, you know, we like to talk about keeping them on social media, but they've yeah. really been informed yeah. by a lot of the stuff they see there. And it's true. They have a great foundation for an education. They can decide for what works for them. And what absolutely. Doesn't. Absolutely. But they're able to get all the good messaging about quality ingredients and what to eat. That's and, it. I mean, I would tell my daughter that growing up, we had so much condensed milk at oh home. Oh, my. And on bread, too. Yes. Well, <laughs> I never got milk and coffee and tea and. And I look at condensed milk now, and if I taste like, it, I'm like, oh disgusting. my goodness. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Listen, no, I don't say it's disgusting, but I get immediately I'm ready to bounce off the ceiling. You're right. You know, you know we but, used to have the milk bread all the time, you yes. know? I used to put have it in the fridge. Hops. 
Did you really? Hot hops. Oh, go to the bakery every God. morning and get some hot hops. And my grandmother made bread, which was the best. You know, you that's smell. You couldn't afford smell. to buy bread. Now I would do for anything, <laughs> anything to get the made bread, right? That's right. Oh, my God. So, that's Nikki. A, that's a luxury. Oh, my God. Does not smell good already? It's amazing. Right? And what we got here? So, parsley? now we have some parsley. We're just going to chop up, rough chop some parsley. Now, I had the, oh, the smell of fresh cut parsley. Mm, that is the best. You can't, you, fresh herbs and ingredients really make that taste kind of go through does the part, roof. Does parsley have any um, anti-inflammatory? It certainly it does. It has some amazing stuff? minerals. And actually the cod right here, uh -huh. high protein, but you remember cod liver oil yes. growing up? Oh, Speaking yes. of bone health, right? Get a Vitamin D. Did you get a cleanse before yeah. school started? <laughs> you remember, oh God, some bad memories from those times. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is part of our cultural traditions. But we do. We, I didn't have real access to a doctor growing up. So I think mm. that my grandfather and grandmother who grew up in the country yeah. did every preventative thing they could. Abs so we so wouldn't smart. have to go to the doctor. Absolutely. And if we did, it was Portis Bay General. And... Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, right, that's enough said right Listen, <laughs> uh, social health care is great, but <laughs> that's access right. to everybody. Exactly. Well, what are you getting access to? You, you know, you can prevent. If you yeah. can prevent with an ounce prevent, of prevention, worth right. more than a pound of cure, right? Yeah, let food be a medicine. Exactly. Now, Nikki, how do you feel about cutting onions? Um, chopping fine. onions. Yeah, fine. So you know what? The tail part, that's the part I usually just chop off right, right there, right? And we want to leave the root part because that kind of keeps it together. And you are chopping it up. And you just go right through it like that. And you just take off that first layer, first onion layer, if you want to take it off. Just peel it right off of there. Now, here's my little junk area right here, but you want to keep it because it keeps a nice onion together. But we're going to do a little bit of a finer chop on this, right. like you said, right? Now, how often have you had this dish? You know, I really, I just had it like last month. I was oh. doing a show called Yeah, Kitchen yeah, yeah. That's going to be airing on one of the NBC digital channels. Oh, so nice. By Tell us. A yeah. local Haitian um, producer. And, mm -hmm. you know, she's a producer on Haitian Island TV. Mm hmm. And, and and that was like the first time I'd had it. And mm. it was just amazing. But again, like you said, if you've had bacalao, if you've exactly. had saltfish, if you've had all these uh, buljol, you know, it's just another it is. type, another variation of it. Exactly. You know, we had all the same ingredients on all the islands. We just did yeah. different things with it. And we did different things with what we had access to. Very, very true. And you know what? You can take this leftover shatai de moru and yeah. use it for your codfish fritters, but use the air fryer instead of frying it in oil, mm -hmm. you know, or bake it in your oven or put it in the toaster oven. And you know what we you end up doing? That in there? No, we could leave that out of okay. there. That's perfect. I'm just gonna pop in the onions now. You're gonna smell all the flavors coming together. I know, you know what? They, they say right? onions make you cry, but onions add so much flavor. <laughs> you need some onions you in need your onions. life, right? You need well, onions. I also homemade the pickles, right? So, yep. oh, you had pickles, I'm sure, many yes. times. Yes, that oh, I had let me time. tell you. Had a couple of of wonderful Haitian co-workers who mothers kept me amply supplied. <laughs> I like my pickles crunchy. Absolutely. Um, like a slaw. Yes, that's and, how and we made it today. With a lot of flavor and some heat. Yep. Well, let me tell you, speaking of heat, we have our scotch bonnet pepper that's right here. Right. Okay. Did you get now, that from your yard? No, but <laughs> we have some other peppers growing out there. So chop it up. I usually have a little separate cutting board that I, put, I chop my peppers just on. Just for peppers. Just for yeah, peppers. Just, yeah. Exactly. For the people right. that can't stand, you know, that stuff stays on forever. <laughs> It sure does. We're going to make it nice and spicy, okay, right? Good. All of it in there. All We're going to add it. some chopped garlic. So fresh cloves of garlic. I have my cloves of garlic here. You just mash the side, of, put your, your side of your knife and just chop down on your garlic. It takes the skin right off. Right. And then you just, you know, fine chop it. We're doing that right there, putting that together. There's a little bit of olive oil that goes into this dish as well. Mm -hmm. We're just going to pour that right in there. So and now, P-V-O-O, -O, you got it, right? So usually mine has some other peppers in there and other herbs. I, I don't remember olive oil being readily available to us. No, it wasn't, you know. I remember coconut oil. Yes, yes. I say using my hair, too. And, <laughs> yes. um, and I remember <laughs> mm -hmm. vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. And I used to go buy it by the gallon from the woman down the street. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have a grocery store in my town of Westboro. Oh, I, oh yeah. my God. So we bought you. stuff by the pound, by the farm stand, by wherever, mm -hmm. the shop. By mm. the parlor. Oh, the parlor man. By yes. Oh, yes. Did I get juice on you there? Yes, all good. A little bit, uh, a little bit of lime of, doesn't I'm not made of sugar, so <laughs> I won't melt. 
<laughs> you never know. Tonight's a test. Tonight's a <laughs> test, right? <laughs> All right. Nice, fresh squeeze of lime. Yes. Can't go and wrong with do lime. do this so I don't get you this And time. a lime tree is one of the easiest trees to grow. Because I had one. have some back I there. Okay, yeah. no, I have I this back here. Lines on the way you know go. what? I have the um, ugly lemons as well. We call them. No. <laughs> but they taste amazing. And guess what? You would never believe. We have a plum tree. Oh, nice. A West Indian plum. Oh, really? Real West Indian. But here's really? the thing. We planted is that in Coral Springs when we first lived there and then brought uh -huh. it over with us. That tree has lasted through hurricanes and replantings. Yeah, Guess what? You know, Anissa, she planted that tree. Oh, fantastic. But now it's just beginning to bear fruit. It's, you know, and June plum. We have some June plum nice. or plum city out there as well, too. So, all right. So that's smelling really good. What do you think? I, I we like didn't have to add any salt. Let me make sure we're good with everything here. Yep. You want to do a little taste test? You know, it's so important. I mean, you know, yes, we get used to, like, the things we like. And it's not bad to have it once in a while. Mm -hmm. But we have to realize that, you know, when you sweet. have, like, a few people in your family that constantly die of the same thing, maybe you should change what you're doing. Absolutely. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. What is it missing? It's good. A little bit of lime juice? I think it needs more lime. More lime. Mm -hmm. And what's our salt substitutes? Because I do want salt. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are putting like, some salt. 100, 110. No, 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 no. We are putting some salt oh, really? in. A little bit of okay, salt. Good. But the thing is, when you have salted cod, you it's can't control has, the salt. You can't control the salt. So you, this you way you take control. it away and you add it back in. Exactly right. All right. Exactly. All right. So we're going to add a little bit of that here. And see the little wooden spoon. We don't measure anything usually in the islands, no. right? We see eyeball. <laughs> For health, we definitely want to measure. So. Here I am. I'm adding a little bit of that in. Nikki's going to put all of that together. What is the acceptable black dosage pepper. of salt for the day? So 2,300 milligrams. And what does that look like? And that is like a third of a teaspoon, really? believe it or not. A what? teaspoon is like six grams. What? Imagine that, right? Six what? grams. And it's really hard to pare it down to that. So this is a serving for many people. So you're thinking about the smaller amount of salt that you now have for everybody in the family who might be eating this. Mm -hmm. And again, salt is in everything. Your, yeah. Some of your seasonings, some of your sauces and your marinades, that sneaky salt can yeah. really take over your dish. And we're seeing a lot. Now, what about the people. Himalayan sea salt and all those other sea? Are those better Still salt? Nope, not necessarily. Okay. Mm. It's all salt at the end of the day. So we just have to make sure that we really watch the entire amount that we're eating. So now, let me do this. Why salt? Uh, how does salt affect blood pressure again? So salt draws the water into the body tissues, into the fluids, right? And into their arteries. If it gets into your arteries, it extravasates into your lung. It wow. can raise the blood pressure. So if, I if I do everything else right, can I have a little more salt? You know, I think in moderation. In moderation. Come on, man. Yes. <laughs> In moderation, for sure. Older, you sometimes feel like you just give up so much. <laughs> so much. But you know what? I love you. are a runner, right? I do. I do. Right? I don't run that much anymore mm -hmm. because the body just started to say, I so don't no. like running. But right now, I spend most of my time, I think most of my time on Peloton bike. Oh, good. I do hot, your hot hit workouts. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, tell us about that. Yeah, I do. I go to an infrared studio. I actually have an infrared sauna. Mm. Now you make me sound really mm. bougie. I love but it. I hey. do. I believe in it. I just believe in it. I believe that. You know, I'm not a girl that's into a lot of purses and shoes and all that yeah. kind of stuff, yeah. but I like myself. So that's I want to feel good. I had a couple of really bad car accidents. Oh, no. And the infrared sauna really helped with mm. my body and my mm. back because it warms you up from a cellular level. Mm. And so I started doing hot yoga and Pilates Fantastic. and really working on my core. That's the way to do and, it, Nikki. Um, you know, I just, I, I turned 50 last year. I hope to make it. You know, not maybe the next 50, Lucy, but, the, the, but close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just enjoy it, the quality of life, you know? Exactly. You work hard all your life. Yes. And, you know, I still want to reach a carnival and jump up a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. As you my, should. And look good in my costume. <laughs> yes, watch out. Listen, 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 you're there for carnival. We must have our own band. <laughs> you're going to have a band. Enough people have a band. Enough people have their own band. I just need to get more than two tapes in my costume. I need to get like a... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, less tape, more fabric. Less tape, more fabric. So, yeah, but still look cute. You know? <laughs> That's the way to do it. Absolutely. Yeah, we like ourselves. Together. You, you should have you like ourselves. Oh, we love ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah, we we like celebrate. To look nice. <laughs> I'm going to put these two together and I'll take this one yes. from you. And that way you can get more in there like this, like a little salad. Yeah. Okay. And what I'm going to do is we are going to toast up some of this bread while you're Perfect. doing that. If anybody in my family is watching, they're like, she don't know what she's doing. <laughs> and they are right. Well, you are showing them differently here. You know what I mean? We're no, gonna... I do. Listen, I'm a great sous chef. I'm a great bartender. 
I love it. I'm a great taster. Yes. Well, that was my job growing up. <laughs> my mother was always in the kitchen. Really big. My, my, there were so many of us, and, and I was one on the young end of the spectrum. Yeah. So I was just always in a book somewhere. Oh, and I love that. Available for food when it was on the table. Speaking of books, you know where I would read my books? I would climb the top of our plum tree. tree. Go in the tree. And that's where I did my homework, read my books. Yeah. I, that was life. In I mean, you know, being a part of being one with nature is so yes. soothing and so important to our mm -hmm. to our health. And yeah. I think that a lot of people realize that during the pandemic, mm -hmm. you'd see. I used to see people walking up, be like, "You live in my neighborhood. Have <laughs> you never seen me in my life?" That's right. That's right. I know it's true, right? <laughs> like, Who are these people? <laughs> And the truth is, they're at work all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So everybody has to get out the house. It's, you bring up such a good, important thing. We remember growing up, just playing with everybody, knowing everybody, having that camaraderie. Having that it's sense such of community. A, that sense of community. Everybody telling your mother how bad you're behaving in the street. Hey, everybody was auntie and uncle, right? Because right? you know everybody they were watching you. Right. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Yep. You're we had me. no cell phones yet. How did my grandmother know we were misbehaving before right? I got home? <laughs> How do they the communication know that? is yeah. one house shout to the other house shout oh, to yeah. the other house. Put all your business in the street. <laughs> right. you know. Well, Nikki, my God, look at this incredible chef. <laughs> look at you. Excuse me, everybody. Check out Nikki is your tidy more room. We're gonna put a little more. So is more. this like a traditional um, mm -hmm. breakfast dish or an appetizer in here? So I think it could be used any time. From right. my research, I'm looking to see, and it looks as though you could use this at any point in time. Yeah. And so it looks like it's appetizer. It could be a main meal. It depends on how yeah. you want to serve it. And so today we are serving it with some whole grain. We're going to make our crostinis from the toaster right there. I just cut okay. up some French bread. And then another option, we have these little whole wheat flaxseed oat bran little pitas. We could make little pitas. Or you could use a little tiny bruschetta toast, right? Basically, little tiny crispy breads, whatever you have at home. Or if you want to get even healthier, just chop up some veggies. You have no cricks? No, not today, right? <laughs> I should have brought some. No, I should have known better, right? Bring some cricks for you. <laughs> Next time, I promise. But just chop up some like bell peppers, yeah. carrot sticks, cucumbers. If you're trying and you to do can the use low that. Carb. Exactly. You're to do the low exactly. Carb. But today we have some carbs, healthier okay. carbs. I'm going to have one. Oh, 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 you already took it. I took Man, you fast. She's yeah. like a ninja over here. I love it. All right, so they're nice and hot. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you a plate, actually, serve you. Sorry. Uh -oh. I'm going to serve you one right there. And, of course, you're going to top yours with pickles, okay? So first we're going to put a little bit. Now, when I had this on the last show, it, was look, it looked brown. It, it, was, it was a salted cod, right, that they yeah, used? Yeah, probably. Yeah, so this one is the fresh cod that we're using. I probably ate like five of them. You probably ate five of them? I'm like a real brand. <laughs> Wait till we put the pickles on top. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Reminds you of chow, doesn't it? Pickles? Yeah. You know, mango chow? Yeah. Or one of the chow dishes? Listen, my favorite, I did, my, I did like mango chow. Mm-hmm. Um, Here are the pickles on top. Mm-hmm. Yes. A nice amount. Of, this a is lot a of vinegary, vinegary, peppery. So in the pickles, I have cabbage, which is also great vitamin D and good fiber. So where's the sodium the in the scotch, pickles? But there is none. I didn't add any salt. No vinegar. This is all vegetables with a little lime, garlic, onion, bell pepper, scotch bonnet. Don't have any salt in there. All right. So let's see. This is a moment of truth, everyone. Okay. It's going to be messy. Let too. us see. Let us see. Is that a thumbs up or what? Do you, what are we thinking here, Nikki? It's a thumbs up. It's oh, all right, all right. That's hey, <laughs> I mean, when you make adjustments, there are always yes things that are going to be different. Right? Yes, yes. But uh -huh. you're like you have to ask yourself: Can this be my meal? Can this be my enough to satisfy my taste of home? Right. And that is a yes. Well, excuse me. All right, this is success, guys. This is success. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, we are just so grateful to our Haitian friends and family and. A happy early Mother's Day to all of our Haitian moms out there. And when of course, Haitian Mother's Day? it's at the end of the month. Wow. Yes. And then the 25th, I believe, of this mm, month. Yesterday nice. was exactly. And so a shout out to everybody. Send us your questions. Send us lots of love on camera, please. And another option, if you want to make it a little bit of a smaller bite that you can pack, take these tiny little pita breads. They're like oat bran, flaxseed mix. You can kind of pop them open. Put in a little bit of the Chitai de Moru, put in some of the pickles in there and just grab it to go. Nice little picnic for you and your family. What do you think? Awesome. Yeah? And then, hey, of course, we had our sorrel today. So today we made some amazing healthy changes, right? 
let's think about what we did today. We did not use a salted cod, and you can see that Nikki's really enjoying this, so I'm mm -hmm. really happy about that. She came hungry. <laughs> So no salted cod, so we used fresh cod that we marinated in fresh herbs and seasonings. We were able to control the salt factor, seared it, and then sort of steamed it. And then we used that and shredded it. Instead of actual salt itself, we were more herb and seasoning forward. We used a lot of scotch bonnet peppers. The pickles added a lot of flavors as well. It added a nice pickled peppery punch to it, right? Mm -hmm. And in no simple starches, we're using whole grain breads and whole grain um, veg vegetables with all of our whole grain components over here, like the pita bread. And then, of course, we want to make sure that you move a little bit in the kitchen, you dance a little bit, because physical activity is also tied to bone health, right? Yes, Don't you is. dance a lot, Nikki? I do. <laughs> I do, but I also do work out every day. Oh, fantastic. I mean, mainly for my mental health, mm -hmm. because I wake up in the morning ready to just go, 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 go. So good. And that mm -hmm. always was the case for the child. Yes. And we would go for runs around the savannah in Trinidad because oh, we were right by the savannah. Amazing. So my grandfather used to take us for runs around the, from the time we were like six and seven, which is technically child abuse in this country, but <laughs> but it worked for he had a lot of grandchildren. And yeah. whenever things get hectic or stressful and you know, because I have high blood pressure, mm -hmm. I know that and I take I'm an obsessive about taking my blood blood pressure blood pressure. Yeah. And I can tell a difference without medication after I've worked out. Exactly. Because I became like a little Dora the Explorer scientist yeah. or doc. Of course. Stuff and was all of a sudden I was like Dr. Mohan. You're our own research patient. Exactly. One. Absolutely. I mean, you know. But yeah, but I noticed that because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when you think of like I saw 50 year old people dropping dead, mm -hmm. I saw 35 year old people having strokes. I'm like, I'm not going out like this. That's right. That's um, right. For my mental health, I realize that fitness has to be part of my routine. 100%. It has to be. It, has it really to be. has to yes. be. Sleep better. I live better. I look better. Yeah. And yeah. if you're not thinking along those lines, and we're, as women, we tend to put ourselves last. Yes, that's right. You know? And that's really, I think, the, at the core of heart disease, which is the number one killer of women. That's right. That's exactly right. And so little changes in the diet. Yeah. And don't just, you know, make the whole family do the change. And let's see a lot of people cooking for themselves. That's right. And on that note, we want all of our moms, our Haitian moms, and all moms out there to live longer. So May 29th is Haitian Mother's Day. So early happy Mother's Day to everyone. And as Nikki so beautifully and eloquently said, our goal here is to uplift and celebrate our culture while making some small changes that improve our health because we want to have quality of life. We want to be able to enjoy and savor every moment that we have here with the ability to actually be present in that moment, not locked away, you know, because of a disease state that you could have prevented. Yeah, it's the worst. Right. Well, let me give you back your sorrel because guess what? Right. We are going to toast out. Okay. Thank you. Everybody, this is to good health and long life. We want you to join us next month. It's Caribbean Heritage Month. We are making a delicious soup. And we have Chef Irie coming. Mm. So we're super excited. We have oh, yeah. Jamaica in the house, right? Like my husband. He's Jamaican. I'm Trini. We've got everybody represented. Okay? If I could be a fly on the wall in this house. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to see you next time, everybody. We want to thank you again. And again, oh, we're seeing some love up on the screen. We're sending that love right back to you. Let us know when you make the dishes. Send us the pictures. Again, Here good health and long life. Salud.